5 seconds to go start first and foremost it is pertinent to note that this court in its judgment in Sayyid Abdul Qadir's case recognized that the issue of recovery revolved on the action being iniquitous. Dealing with the subject of the action being iniquitous, it was sought to be concluded that when the excess unauthorized payment is detected within a short period of time, it would be open for the employer to recover the same. Conversely, if the payment had been made for a long duration of time, it would be iniquitous to make any recovery interference because an action is iniquitous must really be perceived as interference because the action is arbitrary. All arbitrary actions are truly actions in violation of Article 14 of the Constitution of India. The logic of the action in the instant situation is iniquitous or arbitrary or violative of Article 14 of the Constitution of India because it would be almost impossible for an employee to bear the financial burden of a refund of payment received wrongfully for a long span of time. It is apparent that a government employee is primarily dependent on his wages and if a deduction is to be made from his or her wages, it should not be a deduction which would make it difficult for the employee to provide for the needs of his family besides food, clothing and shelter. An employee has to cater not only to the education needs of those dependent upon him but also their medical requirements and a variety of sundry expenses based on the above consideration we are of the view that if the mistake of making a wrongful payment is detected within five years it would be open to the employer to recover the same however if the payment is made for a period in excess of five years even though it would be open to the employer to correct the mistake it would be extremely iniquitous and arbitrary to seek a refund of the payments mistakenly made to the employee in this context reference may also be made to the decision rendered by this court in Sham Babu Verma versus Union of India SCC 521 wherein this court observed as under we have held that the petitioners were entitled only in terms of the recommendations of the third pay commission 
विद इफेक्ट फ्रॉम जनवरी फर्स्ट 1973 अकॉर्डिंगली वी डायरेक्ट दैट नो स्टेप्स शुड बी टेकन टू रिकवर और टू एडजस्ट एनी एक्सेस अमाउंट पेड टू द पेटिशनर्स ड्यू टू द फोल्ट ऑफ द रिस्पोंडेंट्स द पेटिशनर्स बींग इन नो वे रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द सेम इट इज अपरेंट दैट इन श्याम बाबू वर्माज केस द हायर पे स्केल कमेंस्ड टू बी पेड एरोनियसली इन 1973 the same was sought to be recovered in 1984 that is after a period of 11 years in the aforesaid circumstances this court felt that the recovery after several years of the implementation of the pay scale would not be just and proper we therefore hereby hold recovery of excess payments discovered after 5 years would be iniquitous and arbitrary and as such violative of article 14 of the constitution of india examining a similar proposition this court in kanar bj akara versus government of india observed as under such relief restraining back recovery of excess payment is granted by courts not because of any right in the employees but in equity in exercise of judicial discretion to relieve the employees from the hardship that will be caused if recovery is implemented a government servant particularly one in the lower ranks of service would spend whatever emoluments he receives for the upkeep of his family if he receives an excess payment for a long period he would spend it genuinely believing that he is entitled to it as any subsequent action to recover the excess payment will cause undue hardship to him relief is granted in that behalf but where the employee had knowledge that the payment received was in excess of what was due or wrongly paid or where the error is detected or corrected within a short time of wrong payment courts will not grant relief against recovery the matter being in the realm of judicial discretion courts may on the facts and circumstances of any particular case refuse to grant such relief against recovery a perusal of the aforesaid observations made by this court in kanal bj akara's case reveals a reiteration of the legal position recorded in the earlier judgments rendered by this court in as much as it was again affirmed that the right to recover would be sustainable so long as the same was not iniquitous or arbitrary in the observation extracted above this court also recorded that recovery from employees 
in lower rung of service would result in extreme hardship to them the apparent explanation for the aforesaid conclusion is that employees in lower rung of service would spend their entire earnings in the upkeep and welfare of their family and if such excess payment is allowed to be recovered from them it would cause them hardship stop